first of all, you see the things that came out of it and they're amazing. Right. Like there's so much color and the creativity is crazy and the craftsmanship is crazy. And in that time, there was no like institutions. Right. Like if you wanted to learn how to paint, you would become an apprentice. Yep. If you wanted to become a sculptor, you become an apprentice. Yep. If you wanted to make shoes, right? You chose what you wanted to do. A lot of the time you didn't because it was your family. But anyway, um, you learned by doing. And you chose who to learn from by how good they were at doing it. Yep. Which sounds so simple. It's insane to think that we drifted from that. <laughs> but <laughs> that worked really well, right? You get Leonardo da Vinci. You get Michelangelo. You get, like, all of the best, like, works out of that period right. right and the period before that was the dark ages where it was controlled by priests and they told you what yes. you had to do right. right and they had a scripture right so it was scripture and it was authority figure and it was do this or die basically <laughs> and if you say anything else like that's heresy and you're out yeah right yeah well they would kill you right um <laughs> that we've gone back to the dark ages except the priest people are the uh influencers or the professors at the universities and shit right and they've got their scripture it's their books and it's yep. all of that and you know they're very protective of it all right and there is no collaboration yes and everyone's trying to trying to like say that you're wrong or you can't say it. so it's kind of gone back to that but i think we're going back to the to the other period um to a modern renaissance where there's a lot of collaboration and people learn from those that do yes and then that and that can be so well distributed across everything because there's so many things that people can do Right. But there's only so many like <clears throat> institutions that can be formed that control information. So like one can, the distributed model enables like basically anyone to rise to the top just by being good at their craft. And it also enables anyone who's passionate to learn. Right. So it's very fair. And I think that's what we're going to. 